some aircraft aren't meant to look ordinary because they're built to change everything we know about the sky. They might look like science fiction props, but the truth is that they exist, they've flown, and some are already testing missions decades ahead of their time. Imagine a jet with no cockpit and no canopy. That's Tyrannus, the UK's experimental stealth drone built by BAE Systems. At over 11 meters long with a 10 meter wingspan, its entire body is one smooth radar-absorbing wing. Tyrannus is designed for missions considered too risky for human pilots. It can carry precision weapons, jam enemy radars, and slip past air defenses almost invisible to detection. Test flights have shown it can operate fully autonomously. So, taking off, navigating, and landing can be operated completely on its own. Its smooth, alien-like design hides radar signatures while its internal weapons bay keeps missiles concealed. And the most chilling part? It's only a demonstrator, a proof of concept. The real combat-ready successors, part of the UK's Tempest program, will take these ideas and build the next generation of unmanned stealth fighters. India is entering the stealth race with the Advanced Medium Combat Aircraft, or HAL AMCA. On paper, it looks like something straight out of a Marvel movie. Twin engines tucked deep inside its body hide their heat. Serpentine air intakes bend radar beams away and the sharp faceted edges give it a radar signature smaller than a bird. The AMCA is designed to fly past Mach 2 at altitudes above 65,000 feet, carrying long-range air-to-air missiles and precision bombs inside its hidden bays. Its range of over 1,600 kilometers without refueling means it can strike deep into hostile territory. In the cockpit, a panoramic glass display and helmet-mounted targeting system fuse every sensor into a single picture, giving the pilot near-superhuman awareness. Planned to fly by the late 2020s, the AMCA aims to match the world's most advanced fighters. Its design borrows lessons from both American and Russian stealth jets, while adding India's own twist with modular avionics that can be upgraded as new tech arrives. What makes AMCA especially futuristic is India's plan for a sixth generation upgrade path with things like directed energy weapons, drone teaming, and advanced electronic warfare systems. For a country that once relied heavily on imports, AMCA is India's boldest step toward becoming a full-scale aerospace power. Before moving forward, here's a question for you. Which do you think is more game-changing? Speed records like Mach 2 or the ability to stay hidden on radar altogether? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below and we'll get back to this concept at the end of the video. South Korea stunned the world when it rolled out the KAIK F-21 Boramai. Sleek and futuristic, it looked like a younger cousin of the F-35, but with its own personality. It's 17 meters long, with twin engines that push it to speeds above Mach 1.8. The KF-21 is technically 4.5 generation now, meaning not every feature is stealthy, but its roadmap is designed for growth. Early models carry external weapons, but later versions will hide missiles internally and push it closer to true fifth generation performance. Its cockpit is packed with glass displays and sensor fusion and AI-assisted targeting to give pilots an edge. It's also designed to fly alongside drones that could act as decoys or wingmen. For South Korea, it's more than a fighter. It's a statement. The country is no longer just buying jets. Instead, it's at the forefront of building and exporting them and entering the elite club of advanced aviation powers. And with Indonesia as a partner, the Boramai could become the most international, new stealth fighter in Asia. At first glance, the Boeing X-48 doesn't look like an airplane at all. It looks like someone fused a manta ray with a spaceship. This experimental jet was designed to test the blended wing body concept, where the fuselage and wings merge into one. Why does this matter? Efficiency. The X-48's shape reduces drag, increases lift, and allows for quieter engines mounted above the airframe. Wind tunnel tests and real flights proved it could cut fuel consumption by up to 20% while flying at speeds around 700 kilometers per hour. Its wingspan stretched about 6 meters on the scaled demonstrator, but a full-size version could rival jumbo jets. Its strange design isn't just about saving fuel, it also has stealth advantages. The flat profile reflects less radar and hides engine heat. Three small jet engines powered it from the back of the wing to keep noise down. The X-48 never became a production plane, but its data now feeds into future designs at Boeing and NASA. 
If you're enjoying this video so far, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel. And let us know in the comments which of these futuristic jets you think will dominate the skies first. Not all futuristic jets carry bombs or spy on enemies. Some are designed to carry us. At 30 feet long with an 8 meter wingspan, the Chinese Ahong VT-30 looks like a sleek drone crossed with a private jet. It has fixed wings, multiple rotors, and space for two passengers. Its role? Urban air mobility with short-range flights over cities. It's fully electric so operates nearly silently and can fly about 300 kilometers on a single charge. Unlike small drones, it's big enough to act as an air taxi. It could also connect entire regions at low cost. What makes it futuristic isn't its looks, but its promise as well. Imagine calling an air taxi with your phone, boarding in minutes, and flying above traffic to your destination. It hasn't entered wide service yet, but every successful test puts us closer to the sci-fi dream of flying cars. Some aircraft are futuristic because they look alien. Others are futuristic because nobody really knows what they're doing. The Boeing X-37B belongs to the second category. At first glance, it's a mini space shuttle. At 9 meters long with a 4.5 meter wingspan, it can do something no other aircraft routinely does. It can disappear into orbit for years. There's no cockpit or pilot, so it runs fully autonomously and it launches into orbit atop a rocket. The jet can stay in space for months or even years and then glide back smoothly to Earth. Officially, it tests new technologies like reusable heat shields, autonomous re-entry and satellite deployment. Unofficially, it might be testing surveillance payloads or even space-based weapons. It has already set records for the longest space flight by a reusable vehicle of over 900 days in orbit without refueling. Its technology proves that space planes aren't just science fiction. They're here and blurring the line between airplane and spacecraft. Most people know China's J-20, but fewer know its sibling, the Shenyang FC-31. About 16.9 meters long with a wingspan just under 12 meters, the FC-31 is compact compared to the J-20 and closer in size to the American F-35. It's still in development, but prototypes have already flown. What makes it futuristic is its potential role as China's first stealth carrier-based fighter. Twin engines give it a top speed near Mach 1.8, and internal weapon bays can carry guided bombs and long-range missiles while keeping a low radar signature. With folding wings and reinforced landing gear, the FC-31 could launch from China's new aircraft carriers and project power across the seas. The FC-31 also signals China's shift toward building not just one but multiple stealth designs tailored for different missions. And while the J-20 dominates headlines, the FC-31 may quietly become the more versatile platform. Built in collaboration between France, Sweden, Italy, Spain, Greece, and Switzerland, the Dassault Neuron is Europe's answer to futuristic combat drones. With a 10-meter wingspan and a length of about 9.5 meters, it looks like a flying arrowhead that's smooth, angular, and perfectly built for invisibility. The Neuron isn't a simple stealth jet. It's a stealth UCAV, or Unmanned Combat Aerial Vehicle. That means it can enter enemy airspace without a pilot, carry precision weapons, and return without risking human life. Test flights have proven its ability to evade radar, fly autonomously, and strike simulated targets. Even more futuristic is its use as a technology testbed for Europe's future sixth-generation fighter projects. In other words, the Neuron isn't the final product. It's the spark that will ignite Europe's next generation of combat aviation. These eight jets show that some of them are experimental, while others are only just starting to enter service. But they're all changing aviation in their own ways. And that question we asked earlier about stealth versus speed? The truth is that stealth wins each time, because you can't hit what you can't see. So, which of these futuristic jets amazed you the most? Some of these aircrafts look like they were made in another galaxy. With their sleek shapes and alien designs, you'd swear they came from a sci-fi movie and not from Earth. But believe it or not, they're real. They've flown, and some are already in service. The B-21 Raider is America's newest stealth bomber, built to replace the legendary B-2 Spirit. Its role is to slip past the world's toughest air defenses, strike anywhere on the planet, and return unseen. What makes the B-21 unique is how far stealth has advanced since the 1990s. Every curve and material is designed to absorb or deflect radar. Its engines are buried deep within the body, hiding heat from infrared sensors. 
And unlike the B2, the Raider is built with digital open systems architecture, meaning it can be upgraded with new weapons, drones, or AI without a redesign. Preferred because of its versatility, it's capable of both nuclear and conventional strikes, making it the backbone of America's future bomber fleet. Its specs are still classified, but it's expected to have intercontinental range, carry precision-guided munitions, and operate autonomously if required. The B-21 is famous as the first bomber designed for the age of cyber warfare and space-age stealth. The Chengdu J-20 is China's first operational stealth fighter and a symbol of its military rise. It's built to control airspace, hunt rival fighters, and it can even threaten high-value targets like tankers and EWS aircraft. Capable of cruising at supersonic speeds, carrying advanced long-range missiles, and blending stealth with agility, the J-20 gives China reach across the Pacific. Its most famous feature is its length. At over 67 feet, it's larger than most Western fighters, allowing more fuel and weapons. This makes it ideal for long patrols. Preferred by China's Air Force for its intimidation factor, the J-20 is deployed along contested regions like the South China Sea. It's famous for being the first non-American stealth fighter to enter large-scale service, showing the world that stealth dominance is no longer U.S.-only territory. The NASA X-59 Quest is not a fighter or bomber. It's a revolution in passenger flight. Its role is to prove that supersonic travel over land can return by eliminating the sonic boom. Capable of flying at Mach 1.4, the X-59 uses its extra-long nose and sculpted body to break up shockwaves. Instead of the deafening boom that once grounded the Concorde, the X-59 produces only a gentle thump that is quiet enough to pass over cities without disruption. It's preferred because, if successful, airlines could bring back supersonic routes without restrictions, cutting flight times in half. Its most famous spec is its 30-foot nose cone, which eliminates the cockpit windshield. Instead, pilots fly using advanced external cameras. The X-59 is famous because it could unlock the dream of supersonic travel for millions of passengers, not just the military elite. The SR-72, nicknamed the Son of Blackbird, is the rumored successor to the legendary SR-71. Built by Lockheed Martin, its mission would be strategic reconnaissance and strike at hypersonic speeds. Projected to fly beyond Mach 6, the SR-72 would be capable of crossing the Atlantic in under two hours. It has a turbine-based combined cycle engine that could operate like a jet at low speeds and switch to scramjet propulsion at hypersonic speeds. No missile defense system today could intercept something moving this fast. It would redefine first strike capability and surveillance. Its most famous spec is its speed. If achieved, it would be the fastest aircraft in history. The SR-72 is famous for its secrecy. Lockheed has confirmed test programs exist, but no prototype has been revealed publicly. It may already be flying in classified programs. The X-47B looks like a small stealth bomber, but it was built for launching from aircraft carriers without a human pilot. First flown in 2011, this drone proved it could take off, land, and also refuel autonomously on a moving carrier deck which is one of the most complex tasks in aviation. Its flying wing design makes it stealthy, while its ability to operate without risking a pilot makes it ideal for dangerous missions. The X-47B carried weapons bays, advanced sensors, and precision strike capabilities, all while being fully unmanned. Though it remains a demonstrator, the lessons from the X-47B are feeding directly into the Navy's future carrier drones. It proved that autonomous stealth combat aircraft are already taking off from ships at sea. The Airbus Maverick is an experimental passenger aircraft with a radical design, a blended wing body where fuselage and wings merge into one. Its role is to test the future of commercial aviation efficiency. Capable of carrying passengers in a wide open cabin, the Maverick's triangular shape reduces drag and increases fuel efficiency by up to 20%. Its most famous spec is its futuristic cabin, which is wide enough for creative seating layouts and even lounges. Airlines face rising pressure to cut emissions, and Maverick offers a way to do it without sacrificing range. Its most famous moment was its 2020 flight of a scaled demonstrator, proving the design is viable. The Maverick is famous not for military power, but for showing how tomorrow's airliners could look nothing like today's. The Sukhoi Su-57, NATO codename Felon, is Russia's first attempt at a true fifth-generation stealth fighter. 
Its role is to give Russia an answer to the US F-22 and F-35, blending stealth with raw supermaneuverability. Capable of supersonic cruise speeds, the Su-57 is powered by thrust vectoring engines that allow it to pull extreme maneuvers like tight turns and sudden climbs that few jets can match. Its internal weapons bays carry a mix of long-range missiles and precision bombs, while its advanced radar and infrared sensors give it situational awareness across the battlefield. Russia built it to dominate in close-range dogfights and to carry heavy payloads without losing agility. While its stealth isn't as refined as American jets, its ability to combine stealth with aerobatics makes it unique. The Su-57 is most famous for being deployed in limited numbers but meant to show that Moscow can still compete in the global stealth race. The Spike S-512 is a futuristic supersonic business jet designed to carry executives and VIPs across oceans in record time. Its role is to revive supersonic passenger travel, but in a private, quiet, and efficient form. Capable of Mach 1.6, the S-512 can cut flight times between New York and London down to just over three hours. Its most futuristic feature is the cabin that has no windows. Instead, long digital screens project live panoramic views from cameras outside or even display movies and presentations. This makes the fuselage lighter and more aerodynamic. It's designed to soften the sonic boom, allowing supersonic flight over land routes that were off limits to Concord. For passengers, it offers luxury interiors and faster connections between continents. The S-512 is a glimpse of how the wealthy may cross the skies at twice the speed of sound. The next and final jet proves just how far technology can push the very limits of speed. NASA's X-43 Waverider is famous for being the fastest aircraft ever built. Its role was to prove scramjet propulsion could sustain hypersonic flight, and it succeeded. In 2004, the X-43 reached Mach 9.6, nearly 7,000 miles per hour. That's fast enough to cross the United States in under 30 minutes. Its scramjet engine works by compressing air at hypersonic speeds, eliminating the need for heavy turbines. The faster it goes, the more efficiently it flies. The X-43 proved hypersonic flight isn't science fiction. The data it gathered now fuels research into future hypersonic aircraft and weapons. Its famous spec of Mach 9.6 is still the world record for an air-breathing aircraft. The X-43 is remembered as the jet that didn't fight battles but opened a new frontier. It showed the world that hypersonic travel is real, and it's the next great leap in aviation. These aircrafts prove the future of aviation is already airborne. The question is, which of these will define the next era of flight? Tell us in the comments. If you enjoyed this breakdown, give it a like and hit subscribe. Until next time, keep watching the horizon.